Hi everyone, so today I bought in the tellurium. Um, tellurium comes from the Latin word tellus, which means earth. This is a really cool material that sits in our geography shelf and is very attractive um, to both children and parents normally. Um, we use it to teach a whole lot of things. We talk about the rotation of the earth, the sun, um, we also have a little moon attachment so you can talk about phases of the moon and things like that. Um, and basically the first presentation I would do with the tellurium is normally just we just draw it and we label the parts and I kind of use it as a way to assess what the children already know. Um, they normally are really good at this because at preschool when they celebrate birthdays normally they have a sun and they walk around um, the sun how many times we've been on earth so, how, so if there's three they'll walk around three times so that's really cute and helps with that um, prior knowledge. Uh, but today I want to show you um, a little way that we show the seasons with it. I can't do it fully because I, I need lots of space and to rotate it around but I'll give you a little mini lesson. Um, to, to be completely honest I didn't understand how the seasons worked until I until I discovered Montessori education. I remember my science teacher saying it was something about the tilt of the earth but that didn't really have any context. So I'll give you a little lesson now. Okay so to do this lesson you normally need three people. You need someone to turn rotate the earth on the axes, you need someone um, to rotate the base which is going to show us the seasons and keep the tilt of the earth in the same place and you need someone to hold the sun. But there's just me and Chewy's not much help so I'll do my best. <laughs> um, so you can see around the bottom that there's four different colours. So the months of the year are obviously divided into summer, winter, autumn and spring and there's two black arrows and so you make sure, so I'm going to start the earth um, at winter in southern hemisphere which means um, it's middle of June and in the middle of June and what I've done is I've stuck a little sticker um, so when I when I have the kids I normally get a bit of blue tack and we make a little man and or a woman and we give them a name and they love doing that and we stick them on New Zealand and so we can see that for whatever you want to call this little man um, it is the middle of the day in June and you can see the tilt of the earth you know but he's he's getting sun but he's quite low down here and so what we do normally is I would be rotating it around the elliptical orbit but I can't do that right now. So I'm just going to rotate it, I'll do it a little bit and you can see that the sun stays in place but um, this black arrow starts to move and you have to um, match it with the earth so this keeps axis facing the same way. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rotate it and pretend we're going around and keep this little guy at midday. And you can see as I rotate this and keep this guy at midday and I'm going to come right round to the middle of the day in summer. Um, you can see that our little man in the middle of January is a lot higher um, and getting a lot more sunlight in the middle of summer in January here. So yeah hopefully that made sense, it's kind of hard to see but this is kind of a follow-up lesson. The first lesson we do of the seasons we use um, an orange or something, we put a knitting needle through it and we draw a big kind of ellipse on with chalk on the concrete and the child walks around it and we label the seasons but this is a great follow-up and I just think it's so much better than anything I ever used um, to learn the seasons in, in high school really um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>